Africa is slowly cracking. Scientists predict the creation of a new one ocean. We are perfectly aware that continents on the Earth is constantly moving, of which drastic manifestations are, earthquakes. It would certainly be difficult for us after hundreds of millions of years recognize the system of continents on our planet. And these changes even occur now. This applies, for example, to Africa, which, as researchers point out, is slowly falling apart up. Scientists say Africa is falling into two parts, which it will eventually lead to the formation of a new ocean. Although this process will take millions of years, as scholars argue, will separate the current areas of Somalia, parts of it Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania from the rest of the continent. Observing the world around us and existing on Earth continents should keep in mind all the time that what we see, what they present the maps we use and refer to all time the existence of the Earth is relatively new and has existed for a relatively short time. Surface the Earth is undergoing constant transformations. Only the human eye cannot do this directly perceive. Because in turn, it happens relatively slowly. Such the trials take millions of years. It is not without reason that Earth's continents are sometimes compared to puzzle pieces, for puzzles. Just look at their shape. By way of example the west coast of Africa and the east coast of South America appear to fit together very well. And this is due to the fact that millions of years ago they actually came into contact here. However, to there the split occurred about 138 million years ago. In the context of the movement of continents on Earth, already now something important is happening to Africa that will irreversibly change its shape and appearance. The Great Eastern Trench, a tectonic trench that is important here it is part of the Great African Trenches. It runs through many countries, such as Ethiopia, Kenya, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, the Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique. In 2018, the world went viral footage and photos showing the massive crack that occurred in Kenya. Even then, there were voices that Africa was falling apart before our eyes. However, insofar as this event was in fact linked to said rift system, Rift is a type of tensile tectonic trench over long distances, however, it cannot be clearly considered tangible proof of the division of Africa. However, it is estimated that this rift exists involved in processes taking place in Africa for about 25 million years. However, tectonic movements taking place along the East African River the system means that the African plate is gradually divided into two parts, and the Somali and Nubian plates are gradually starting to move apart. In a very slow movement process occurs at a speed of millimeters per year. However, this means that Africa over the next millions of years it will be torn into two parts, between which it will probably take place the formation of a new ocean. It is estimated that these changes will take more a drastic form in about 5 to 10 million years and during this period a new water body will most likely be created. Studies of dogs from Chernobyl Scientists found differences genetic. Scientists studying the genomes of feral dogs living in the zone the exclusions around the Chernobyl nuclear power plant showed that between the two the groups of tetrapods inhabiting different areas of the zone are significant differences genetic. Scholars hope that the knowledge thus acquired will contribute to better understand the effects of long-term radiation exposure on genetics and human health. Accident in the fourth reactor of the nuclear power plant in Chernobyl in 1986 caused the largest release of material in history radioactive to the environment. Effect of acute exposure to high doses the radiation was severe to the environment. However, more than
than three decades after the accident Chernobyl has become a refuge for wild animals whose radiation does not it bothers them, but the lack of human presence seems to favor them. Shelter today it finds a diverse range of endangered species, including bears, the wolves, or lynxes. Ionizing radiation can damage genetic material living organisms and generate unwanted mutations. One of the most interesting research topics in the Chernobyl zone are an attempt to detect whether they are their species that have adapted to live in such an environment. As in the case of other impurities, Ionizing radiation can be very strong a selective factor that favors organisms with increasing mechanisms their adaptability in substance contaminated areas radioactive. So far, there have been no large population-based genetic studies mammals inhabiting the exclusion zone. A group of scientists looked feral dogs, of which there are currently about 800 in the zone, although a few days after in the accident, rescue teams searched for pets to eliminate them. It was then argued that dogs were certainly irradiated and constituted danger. After the Chernobyl explosion in 1986, as many as 300,000 people they were forced to leave their place of residence. Later the so-called exclusion zone, which extends within a radius of 30 kilometers from where the destroyed reactor is located. This zone does not habitable. He is largely responsible for this state of affairs radiation levels and contamination of water and soil. After the disaster, it was decided various attempts to chemically neutralize the threat, but they did not bring intended effects. All this creates an extremely toxic conglomerate, and who find it difficult to survive. And yet there are animals that succeed. Among these are dogs, one group of which lives near the reactor itself, and the other in about 15 kilometers away from Chernobyl. The question arises, of course, of this, what impact does being in such an environment have on their genetic material? An attempt to examine the genome of the dogs living there has already been made earlier. It was then noticed that both groups mentioned above differed from myself. This time, as many as four times more samples were obtained for testing genetic, which allowed for even more detailed analysis of genomes dogs living in the exclusion zone. Scientists have identified as many as 391 areas in dog genomes, which differed between dogs living in these two locations. Interestingly, some of them indicate genes related to DNA repair processes in dogs exposed to such unfavorable conditions. It will now be crucial to understand how it all have genetic differences developed between these groups. Do we have here to dealing only with genetic drift, or these changes are the answer to characteristics of the environment in which they lived? Finding the answer to this the question will be much closer to understanding how this is the case at all did the dogs survive there? It will also be possible to better understand how exposure to such harsh conditions can affect other living things, including of course, on people.